Children and youth have been advised to imbibe skills that will make them employable and navigate the job market effectively. This is coming at a time Nigerian universities are churning out graduates who many employers see as unemployable. At the TREM employability program, youths were trained on soft skills needed to succeed in today's job market. Theophilus Elama tells us more. The 2018 Graduate Skills Ranking by the World Economic Forum placed Nigeria on 135 out of 140 countries. This simply shows that most Nigerian graduates don't have the requisite skills, experience, and knowledge for the dream jobs that they crave. Even worse is the fact that most of them are not professionally aware of the sectors they seek to work in. One question that has been asked is, why are Nigerian graduates unemployable? Now, I think it's a question of how relevant the skills they come with are to the future workplace. Um, and if you look at the curriculum, I mean, when last were those things reviewed? So it just requires a lot of effort or investment on the part of the graduates. My dear, if you get people doing something, it will reduce robbery. Because if the boys, if the children don't have anything doing, the devil will start working in their mind and they meet, meet the wrong gangs, they join them and start robbing and killing. Expert here are of the notion that more is needed by graduates in order to survive Nigeria's job markets. The skills that we need now for the future of work is changing. It's no longer math, English, it's a lot of soft skills, a lot of digital skills. Now, how many of those can you get within the current uh, setup of our schools? So people actually require maybe private institutions, organizations, but this program, for example, gives you the full complement of everything, which makes it particularly uh, heartwarming and very useful. The issue of driving unemployment in Nigeria is a stakeholder's responsibility. Everybody must take responsibility. So organizations like churches should also rise up to the call to say, what can we do to close this gap? So every stakeholder should look at their little ecosystem and say, what can we do to close the unemployment gap? And so I believe very strongly it's the way to go. Every stakeholder contributes.